Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is another great day for Mississippi. I am proud to hear the roar this morning in the Capitol. I think it is a roar of opportunity. Winston Churchill once said they had called him, and I may be borrowing this from the speaker, but I'm going to. They once called Winston Churchill the Lion of England, and he said I was not the Lion of England, the people were. I just simply had the opportunity to roar. We're going to roar this morning because it is time. We have been talking about how we might be able to support funding for roads and bridges and repairs for years now. There's a lot of people I want to thank here today. I want to thank them for realizing that it is time today, now, that we pass this bill. I see mayors, supervisors, road builders, supervisors uh, and, and, and mayors understand more than most of us how important their infrastructure needs are. And this bill will get them the funding to be able to address those challenges. It will do it this session. This special session will give us an opportunity to begin put real dollars into those needs in FY19, not somewhere into the future, but now. See, in April, I had to make a difficult decision to close over 500 bridges across the state of Mississippi. Bridges that were unsafe, bridges that really challenged the very safety of the motoring public. But I also made a decision at that time to move forward with funding, not just to close those bridges for the sake of closing them, but make sure that we had an opportunity to fund their repairs. The Mississippi legislature had the foresight and the leadership of the lieutenant governor and the speaker to put $50 million into a fund, so immediately the bond commission was able to meet and put $25 million of those funds into local bridge, to our state aid road program. I call that a good beginning. Today, this legislature will vote on the Mississippi Infrastructure Modernization Act. It is a historic piece of legislation that will put more than $200 million a year into infrastructure across the state of Mississippi. In the next five years, this bill, if passed in totality, will add $1.1 billion to infrastructure. I think we have heard you call upon us to make a decision. Now, this was not done overnight or behind closed doors. Leadership of the House and Senate has been working on this since April. Our doors are always open. It's always interesting to me that sometimes members complain, oh, we didn't have access, and I never receive a call from them. They never knocked on our door and said, could I be a part of it? The last two weeks, I've called many of them in the opposition party and said, come to the office. Let me explain to you what we're doing. There's nothing to hide here. This is completely transparent. I'm not running for re-election. <laughs> I don't need a campaign.